Bipolar disorder, also formerly known as manic depression, is a mental health condition that causes extreme mood swings. It can include emotional highs, that can be mania or hypomania, and lows, that is depression. The depression associated with bipolar disorder will cause the patient to become sad, hopeless, and lose interest in daily activities, while the mania will cause a euphoric effect and can affect sleep, energy, activity, judgment, behavior, and the ability to think correctly. The chief symptoms will be elation, uh, that is extreme happiness, and insomnia, agitation, hyperactivity, and uncontrolled thought and speech processes. Now, as I said, that bipolar disorder is uh, two poles, that is one pole, at one pole we have extreme depression, and the other pole we have extreme excitation, that is mania. So, for the depressive phase, we have antidepressants and we are not going to discuss antidepressants in this video. We are going to discuss the drugs that are used specifically for the manic phase of the bipolar disorder. The main drugs that are used in bipolar disorder includes lithium. Lithium is considered the drug of choice to treat the manic phase of the bipolar disorder. Other drugs can be anti-epileptics antipsychotics and benzodiazepines. Now you can see that all of these are uh, CNS depressants and thus will inhibit or suppress the mania associated with bipolar disorder. Now the drug that we'll discuss in this video in detail will be lithium because we've already discussed anti-epileptics, antipsychotics and benzodiazepines. Lithium was the first drug ever used for mania treatment. How it acts is by inhibiting the enzyme inositol monophosphatase. Now this enzyme actually is responsible for the recycling of inositol that is used in second messenger pathway in the IP3 DAG pathway. This IP3 DAG pathway is associated with receptors such as M1 and alpha 1 and that are excitatory receptors in the, uh, in the nervous system. So IP2 is not converted into IP1 and IP1 is not recycled into inositol and thus inositol is depleted which leads to uh, depress depression of CNS because this these are GQ coupled receptors which are excitatory. Apart from this effect, lithium also increases GI coupled activity on GABA B receptor by enhancing the release of GABA in the central nervous system which is also an inhibitory neurotransmitter. Lithium also decreases GS coupled activity in the central nervous system, one by decreasing norepinephrine and dopamine levels in the brain, and also by inhibiting postsynaptic GS receptors by inhibiting cyclic AMP production by inhibiting adenyl cyclase, of course. As I already mentioned, IP3 DAG pathway, which is a second messenger for adrenergic and muscarinic activity in the central nervous system, it is also depressed and also norepinephrine and dopamine released is decreased. Looking at all of these effects of lithium, we can see that all of them are central nervous system depressing effects and thus lithium will be the drug of choice for treatment of manic phase of bipolar disorder. The next sort of drugs that can also be used in bipolar disorders are anti-epileptics or anti-convulsants. They include sodium valproate, carbamazepine, which both act by blocking sodium channels in their inactivated state, while lamotrigine also blocks uh, glutamate receptors which are excitatory. So all of these have also CNS depressants effects and can help in mania. Sodium valproate will be helpful in acute mania attack and also in prophylaxis in combination with other uh, drugs and it is actually preferred over lithium due to reduced side effects. I'll discuss the side effects of lithium in a while. Carbamazepine is used as a mood stabilizer and also in prophylaxis in combination with sodium valproate or uh, lithium. A special property of uh, lamotrigine is also believed to be its action on decreasing serotonin reuptake and thus it is used in prophylaxis of depression in bipolar disorder unlike the uh, all the others and it can be used along with lithium furthermore antipsychotics can also be used in manic phase of bipolar disorder they include olanzapine risperidone and eripiprazole they will actually block 
dopamine receptors and as they work on positive symptoms in schizophrenia they will also block the hyper stimulation and excitation in manic phase of bipolar disorder they can be used to control an acute attack of mania in bipolar lastly benzodiazepines can also be used because they accentuate gaba a receptor activity and thus promote cns depression the chief benzodiazepines that can be used are lorazepam clorazepam etc and they are mainly used to control an acute attack because lithium has a slow onset of action coming to some adverse effects of lithium we should know that lithium has a very low therapeutic index hence therapeutic drug monitoring has to be done for optimal therapy and the normal blood levels should be in between 0.5 to 1.5 mg equivalents per liter another thing to remember about lithium is that it resembles sodium in size and charge and thus can lead to spontaneous depolarization of the neuronal membrane by entering the uh, membrane of course and causing uh, life threatening seizures another effect of lithium is by blocking the gs coupled receptor of uh, adh in the kidney and thus leading to water retention and causing nephrogenic diabetes insipidus now regarding the treatment of this sort of nephrogenic di diabetes insipidus we should remember to treat them with amyloride or triamterene and not any other loop diuretic or thiazide diuretic because these two drugs will act on the distal convoluted tubule and collecting ducts and block the sodium channels and thus lithium reabsorption because we said that lithium was similar in charge and uh, um, size to sodium so we do this for two reasons firstly we need to get rid of so lithium so we block that channel secondly we don't want the kidney to adapt so because if the kidney will adapt then what will happen it will increase a sodium reabsorption and thus lithium reabsorption so we act on the very last part of the uh, nephron so that the kidney cannot adapt and increase um, sodium reabsorption in the in some uh, later part of the tubule because there is no later part now just as a lithium inhibits gs receptors of adh it also inhibits the gs coupled receptors of tsh by decreasing cyclic amp and thus can lead to hypothyroidism lithium has also an effect to inhibit the peripheral deiodinase enzyme and thus inhibit the uh, conversion of t4 into t3 a teratogenic effect of lithium therapy is epstein's anomaly This is a congenital heart defect in which the tricuspid valve is malformed and is adherent to the posterior valve of the uh, right ventricle. Now what happens is that when right ventricle pumps blood most of it is regurgitated back into the right atrium. This results in an abnormally large right atrium and a smaller uh, right ventricle. This can also lead to heart failure. That's all about lithium and the drugs used in bipolar disorder.